Radio 4's Dead Ringers, please welcome John Culshaw. Good evening and welcome back to the BBC 10 o'clock news with me, Michael Burke. <laughs> I'm just Miss Dynamitey, he. More on that story later. <laughs> It's been revealed that before John Cleese was given the role of Q in the Bond films, many others tried out for the coveted role of 007's faithful gadget inventor and comedy boffin. A series of tapes showing these auditions can now be seen for the very first time. Now pay attention, bargain hunters, pay attention, 007. Nice piece, this. Lovely gadget, note the patina. Now pay attention, Mr. Bond. These may look like four ordinary 50-pound notes. But place them in the hands of any bargain hunt contestant and they'll be instantly transformed into a wobbly chair, a gas mask and a pixie on a mushroom. Bit of a duffer, <laughs> Sheba's chips. Uh, my next guest in Parkinson's secret laboratory is somebody whom I've long admired. He is, of course, the wonderful secret agent, Mr. James Bond. Uh, now, James, throughout your career, you have uh, famously fought Goldfinger, uh, Blofeld, and, and Scaramanga. Are you not disappointed you never fought the great Muhammad Ali? <laughs> well, George Foreman says, you can make peace with your arch enemies. With our ma, 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 lean, mean, fat reducing grill machine. Yeah, it makes mealtimes fun in a healthy way, fast. I'm so proud of it, ah, shut up. Well, I'm Johnny Vegas, and I don't want the part of Q, thank you very much. They gave my role to Halle Berry. I'd have been perfect emerging from the sea wearing nothing but a tangerine thong. No imagination, these producers. Yeah, well, do you know what I mean? Listen, Bond, since I've been in Black Sabbath, and like you've been Roger Moore, I've been watching you. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, me and Sharon have always got it on, you know what I mean? And you don't need gadgets to, like, blow stuff up. Just send my kids round, you know what I mean? <laughs> got to invent a gadget to stop me vibrating the whole time. <laughs> well, I'm permanently sat on a washing machine. Thank you very much. You've been lovely. Thank you. Oh, and I've got to tell you what, ladies and gentlemen, this is a Jimmy Tarbuck introduction of the highest order. Hey, you've got to do Tarby at this gig. Fantastic. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, will you please welcome a great pal of mine from Dead Ringers, the sensational Jan Ravens. <laughs> Hello, and welcome to Newsnight. I'm Kirsty Warwick. John Kennedy has been on you, 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 I got you, you. Those headlines again with the consonants reinstated. Following Charles Kennedy's appearance on Have I Got News For You, politicians have been accused of undermining their credibility. Anne Whittacombe has released this statement. Well, yes, I admit some of my constituents did say that, um, that they would prefer their MP not to participate in some shallow freak show with a load of washed-up nobodies. But I did try to reassure them that my involvement with the Tory party isn't interfering one bit with my important work here at Celebrity Fit Club. <laughs> and, um, in fact, I'm rather surprised that Claire Short isn't here. Because Claire Short could certainly stand to lose a few pounds. No, I don't have to worry actually, and about losing weight, because I have discovered the best way to stay trim. I just make another one of my really controversial statements, and Tony Blair, the Prime Minister, wires my jaw together. <laughs> Oh, loves it, Thora here. Oh, yes, lovely Thora. Doesn't that clash your talk funny? Uh, you know, I'm a bit like that when I get a worth as original stuck in my dentures. I am, really. Now, listen, loves, you know the next act is inspired by Bollywood. And, you know, we did a Last of the Summer Wine episode, a really lovely Bollywood one, and it involved... Prince Foggy of Bangalore being rolled down the hill in a tin bath by the many-armed Ganesh. Oh, it was lovely. I haven't been so excited since I'd nearly managed to overtake Jensen Button and Miss Stairlift. Oh, it was lovely. It really was. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen,
and gentlemen, this is me, and this is one of the hottest, most vibrant musicals to hit the West End in many, many years. So sit back and enjoy Bombay Dreams!